Hey, what's up you guys? If you're gonna be towing a trailer with your Toyota Camry, you're gonna need trailer wiring. It's required by the law. So let's go ahead and break down that install for you. All right, so our trailer wiring harness is gonna be attached behind our tail lights. So we're gonna to need to get behind both the driver and passenger side panels right here. So we're gonna start by removing the floor coverings. And then we'll need to remove the spare tire cover. Now we will be removing the driver's side storage tray and we'll be removing this bolt with a 10 millimeter socket. Now starting on the driver's side, we're gonna remove this cargo hanger. There is a screw inside of it that we can take out with a Phillips screwdriver. And then we'll repeat on the passenger side. Now we'll remove the scruff panel just by pulling out and then up. Now on the driver's side, we'll pull back our lining and that gives us access to the tail light. Now we're gonna unplug each harness from the tail light. And then we're gonna take our yellow T connector and our red and brown T connector. And we're going to plug in our gray tail light harness into the yellow T connector. And then we'll take our red and brown T connector and plug it into the black tail light harness. And then we'll plug them back into the tail light. And then on the passenger side, we'll pull back the lining. And then we'll unplug the gray tail light harness. And then we'll connect it to our green T connector from our trailer wiring. Now towards the center of where our scruff panel was, there is an already existing ground. So we're gonna remove this bolt with a 10 millimeter socket. All right, now we'll take our white wire with the terminal on the end and we'll go ahead and ground it in that spot. Now we're gonna clean up our wires by zip tying it to the existing loom. With our four flat, you can leave it in the trunk area if you would like to leave it inside your vehicle. We're gonna route ours towards the hitch. So we're gonna push it right through this vent until it goes down. 
Right now we're gonna go ahead and mount our four flat harness. Now, a lot of people like to leave it dangling. That can cause issues and cause damage to your wiring. So we're gonna go ahead and use a four flat mounting bracket. This is not included in the kit. This is U-Haul part number CQT118144. And we're just gonna go ahead and mount it to the bumper right here. And using the holes, we're gonna go ahead and drill our attachment holes. And we will be using a 3 16 drill bit. And then we'll go ahead and put our first screw into place. And then we'll drill our, drill our second hole. And then we'll put our second screw into place. And then we'll tighten the nuts with a 10 millimeter socket. We'll tuck our wires behind the bumper. And then we'll bring our bracket or our harness into place into the bracket. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and route our power wire from the battery to our converter box. We are not gonna be using our included power wire but we'll be using our uh, upgraded power wire that you can get at U-Haul. This has the fuse holder already secured onto it and has protective loom on it to help shield it from the elements. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and pull our power wire to the, through the engine compartment down underneath the vehicle. If we follow this loom, it brings you right up to the brake lines and our brake lines bring us right to the rear of the vehicle, give us a nice straight shot. So we're just gonna route it through there. All right, underneath the vehicle, if you follow these brake lines right here where it comes up to the engine compartment, you should be able to just grab your wire from there. And then after securing, up, securing it up top, we'll go ahead and pull it all the way through till it's nice and tight. So now that it's nice and tight, we're just going to follow these brake lines all the way down. going to continue to follow the brake lines and they come up a little bit higher right here right above the fuel tank and then we'll come over these looms at the rear of the driver's side And then we'll remove this grommet. And then we'll push our wire through. Now we're gonna go ahead and take that grommet and we're just gonna cut a slit in the middle of it. We're going to go ahead and pull our power wire through the grommet. And we'll pull our grommet down and put it into place.
then we'll clean up our zip ties. And we don't need all this extra wire, so we're just gonna go ahead and cut it. Now we're gonna connect our power wire to the red wire on the converter box, and we'll be using a heat shrink buck connector. We'll go ahead and use our butane torch. And then we'll take our power wire and four flat wire and we'll just zip tie it to that same loom as we did before. with everything in place, we'll go ahead and put our side panels back into place. And we'll reinstall our scruff panel. And we'll reinstall our driver's side cargo hanger. And we'll reinstall the passenger side cargo hanger. Install the driver side storage panel. Next, we'll reinstall the spare tire cover. And we'll put our floor coverings back. All right, we're gonna go ahead and attach our fuse holder to the positive terminal on the battery. Now we went ahead and secured our fuse holder to the negative side, and we're just gonna route it over to the positive terminal. And we're gonna remove this nut right here on the positive terminal using a 13 millimeter socket. And then we'll go ahead and attach our terminal and we'll reinstall the nut. And we'll go ahead and open up our fuse holder and we'll insert a 10 amp fuse. And we'll resecure it. All right guys, that wraps up our install. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions or you need more information, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center or visit us at uhaulhitches.com.